Hey guys! Well, I was actually going to be a person today and wear clothes in this video, but then I realized I'm a lax bro now. Clothes isn't really necessary. I solemnly swear that I was dressed up for Easter today. I'll show you my dress. It's cute, okay? See, look how cute it is. Look at all these cute colors. Good for spring. Right, I'm a lax bro now. I play lacrosse and it's honestly one of the best decisions I've ever made. We'll get to that in another video. This video is not a vlog, it's a book review. Looking for Alaska by John Green. Just a sidebar. Sidebar in it. Holla. I'm doing John Green for my research paper in English because we have to do an American author and the ideology. In case you don't, aren't familiar with other works by John Green, his ideology is teenagers dealing with pain and suffering, getting out of their labyrinth of suffering, lol, looking for Alaska reference. There's always a bright side. I have a crush on John Green, a literary crush and a physical crush on him. Like, he is just fantastic. I love the book. I put the, I put the Kindle down and I was like, catch my breath. I actually saw a YouTube video where he was like, oh yeah, you know, I don't even know if I should call it my book because he named about 10 different people that helped him and he was like, I rewrote it about seven times. Apparently, The Great Perhaps and The Labyrinth wasn't even in the first draft. Before I transition into the two motif, The Great Perhaps and The Labyrinth, like everything just worked together with these two motifs. Obviously, like the title, Looking for Alaska. He goes to the boarding school, Miles. Pudge, he's a cute. He goes to the boarding school to look for the great perhaps, which personally I think we're all looking for our own great perhaps, and that's why we try different things to like find the purpose of our lives. And he finds Alaska, and she is the great perhaps to him. Like obviously every book needs a good love story, and um, it is just so tragic how Alaska's like, oh my god, I love Jake, but obviously she's like, oh Pudge is cute, and. Then she obviously acted on that the night that she died. I also like the, the Labyrinth of Pain because it really talks about how there is two polar opposites like pulling us in different directions in life. We have the great perhaps, we have our dreams, what we want to accomplish in life, but there's always the labyrinth of suffering that we're stuck in that's, that's kind of pulling us from the great perhaps and we have to find that balance, you know? I read that those weren't technically Cortez's last words, but probably one of them. His book's written about it, so it happened, but his last word was probably like, oh, my leg, or something. It's just so true. Like, John Green really hits the mark here with teenagers c trying to find who they want to be, yet going through all the different crap they have to deal with at the same time. Obviously, me being a teen, I'm like, yeah. Personally, I think it was, I think she, it was a suicide. When I read that, what ha how her mother died, like, that, I was like, whoa. I'm not thinking like, wow, Alaska, you're so dumb. Why would you let your mother just sit there like that? She was in a state of shock and she was so young. I give her the benefit of the doubt. But like, that is just something so hard to deal with your whole life. I don't know why she didn't just kill herself earlier. Or that's why she like does all the drugs and stuff, you know. She's just a rebel. And I also think her driving drunk death slash suicide is a lesson we all should learn to think before we act. <laughs> Hopefully Green was trying to get that point across because driving is one of the biggest killers of teens today, obviously. I mean, come on, straight and fast. She was driving that car straight and fast. White tulips, symbolism, white. White flowers means death. I love symbolism. I think I'm the only person in the in like my school that actually likes like, literal, literal can't say it, but I like them. Literary elements. Whenever I see I'm in a poem, I'm like foreshadowing i'm like i get excited <laughs> i'm like the only person freak i'm a weirdo um yes and if i were a teacher i would probably not let my freshman students read this book but i would probably obviously i'm a junior so i would let my junior students read this book like under the table i wouldn't like get it approved with my principal there's a lot of shite that happens I think it's important for teenagers to be exposed to this kind of book. All of the works of John Green because my hair looks like poopity poop. Extra! Definitely recommend Looking for Alaska. I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it. Fantastic book. I'm gonna read A Bun in the Catherine's. Definitely gonna read The Fault in Our Stars because I read My Sister's Keeper and it's about cancer as well. And I'm definitely gonna read um, Paper Towns. I hear that's great. But I have to read the Hunger Games series first. And then I also want to read the Gossip Girl series because I'm kind of obsessed with the show and I'm almost done season four, so I got a lot of reading ahead of me to do, but it was great. And you will be expecting a lot of book reviews from me for sure -sies. I'm going to New York City next week to meet up with George Broski, and I heard that 
mutant boyfriend's gonna be in the city at the same day. I don't know, don't hold me on that, but he tweeted it, so I'm taking his word for it. See you guys later. Boosted! <laughs>